Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back, loves. Welcome back to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel. And I am the host. My name is Catherine. For those of you who are new, this is a Cancerian only channel. I do have two other channels where I read for all 12 signs and also celebrity news and other conspiracy theories and different topics. That would be She Reads Tarot and Tarot Talk Live. Those two channels links are below. I, I do a giveaway drawing for a three question reading, excuse me. Um, and I will choose three names every week on this channel. On She Reads Tarot, I do a drawing for um, one person and we have not started that officially. We are going to be starting that drawing this weekend, you guys. So if you would like to get in on that, please head over to that channel. Make sure you are subscribed and go ahead and hashtag win in the comment section. Please do that now in this video and every video that you see me upload and I will enter your name in the drawing. Okay. That is for a three question reading with me. All right. And so I am going to be doing that right now. So this is what it looks like. Okay. This is what it looks like. And inside here is everybody's name every single time that they have you know, entered in the comments. Okay. The way to do that is to hashtag win or hashtag free reading, um, in the comment section and be subscribed to the channel. I do a giveaway every month. I announce those winners on the first of the month. Um, if you are a winner, I will post those names on the community page. And also you can go check through the playlist under the weekly and monthly winner, um, tabs. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and pull. I'm looking for three winners. There's one. Two and three. Two and three. So we have Morgana Strange, Morgana Strange, Morgan Moore. So there were two names, but Morgana Strange or Morgan Moore. And then we have Denise, okay, all lowercase, Denise, congratulations. You won a three question reading, a personal reading with me. And we have Teresa Connell. Teresa Connell. Congratulations to all three subscribers. Make sure that you head over to my email to claim your prize. And that is queencancertarot at gmail.com. The email address is below. You can also reach me on my website. If you would like to book a reading with me, please head over there. You can also send me an email from there. Um, I think that's it. That's it. I will post these names later on the community page, on the community tab. And... Uh, I will also go over, head over to She Reads Tarot and announce the winners right after this, okay? So please make sure you guys head over there, subscribe to the channel, and hashtag win in all of the videos that you can, and I will enter your name, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. What is the energy around cancers right now? I'm just going to do a collective reading for you, cancer. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. What is the energy surrounding cancer right now? Okay, let's start with one. Okay, we're just going to start with one. 
taking more than is needed. And this can go in many directions, but where I, my intuition is leading me is that cancers, you all have been taking on way more responsibilities than you should be. And you're getting to the point where you're ready to cry uncle. You, you're just, you're, you're to the wall. You can't take any more of anyone else's responsibilities. And on top of trying to take care of and manage your own, which you are failing at that now. You're failing at that now, and this is why. I feel like some of you have been overwhelmed, but it is because of your own doing. Okay? And I feel like you are you have the type of energy where, you know, someone will ask you for a favor and you'll offer yourself up for more. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, just say, you know, somebody asks you to drop them off at work because their car is down um, and they're not going to be able to get it repaired for the next several weeks because they don't have enough money in their savings. They don't, you know, barely have enough money for food and you know, they don't know how they're going to be able to make it. Okay. So they're asking you to drop them off for work in the mornings because say you both work in the same vicinity. And since, you know, you're going that direction that, you know, this person feels as though it, it's not going to be a big problem. So that's a horrible way to think about it. Um, but I feel like you will offer yourself up for even more. You'll offer to pick this person up. You'll give this person money out of your own pocket to buy food until they have, you know, money again to pay you back. Okay. So what you've done what you just did by doing this, because this person, obviously, they had irons and fires in other places, which is why they only asked you to take them to work, right? However, you went further, you went, you know, a couple of steps further and did other things. Now this person now feels entitled or enabled. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, and so the next time around, who do you think? The next time they, you know, don't plan well, okay, for their emergency future, they're going to call you first. Do you see what I'm saying? And the ask this time, well, they're going to ask for the moon and the stars because you gave that to them before. Do you see what I'm saying? So I feel as though you're giving, over giving, over extending enables people to therefore feel as though they can take advantage of you. Okay. So it's, it's an enabling energy. All right. And you feel now you're feeling as though people are taking advantage. You see what I'm saying? Now you're feeling taken advantage of. However, Cancer, you're feeling that way because you've enabled these people. You've given them the power to put you in that position. Do you see what I'm saying, where I'm going? Okay. So let's see. What else do we have here for cancer, please? 
Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about cancer. Okay, so we have over and over again. <laughs> over and over again. These people will keep coming back. It's like the cat. The song and the cat came back. He wouldn't stay away. Something, something, something. The very next day, the cat came back. He wouldn't stay away. So it's like you fed the cat, and now the cat's going to come back again to your house. They're going to skip all of the other trash cans along the way, and they're going to come right to your door, and they may come with a friend. But you're going to start to see that this person is going to be showing up more and more often. They're going to be texting you every two weeks. It's like you're going to know, you know what I'm saying, that this person is a week away from payday because it's going to be like clockwork that you're going to hear from this person. Do you see what I mean? So there's an energy of not only are they taking advantage, okay, but then they're going to continually come back and do it over and over again. Somehow the cycle needs to be broken, okay? Um, but it's one that you initiated in this case. In this case. And what else do we have? So we have in the reverse, charge it to my account in the reverse cancer. And do you see what color this card is? Green, okay? Both of these have to do with money. Taking more than is needed, charging it to your account. I feel as though these people had an open access to you, almost like you were an ATM. Almost as if you were a bank account that they could just come and withdraw from whenever they needed. No one was depositing anything though. Do you see what I'm saying? They were taking more than was needed. They were using and abusing. Do you see what I'm saying? And they were going to continue doing it over and over and over again until you put a stop to it. Until you put a stop to it, okay? Let's see what we have here. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell us about cancer, please. Tell us about cancer, please. I'm not really, my thumb, I'm trying not to use it as much. It is really stiff today, you guys. So if I drop cards, cards slide out of my hand, it is because of my right thumb is not wanting to do what it needs to do. All right, so let's see here. Tell us about cancer, please. Tell us about cancer, please. So look at this. These three cards just flipped out of this deck, y'all. These three. The first one. Triple three. Roman, it's, so it's three, okay? Roman numerals here. But it's 111. So your 111-year-old self. Okay, your 111 year old self. So that's an energy of someone who is wiser, someone who um, is thinking about things in a mature way. What would you do if you were your 111 year old self? What would you say if you were 111 years old now? Okay. And you got to go through all of the experiences that you went through. What would that person then say? Do you see what I'm saying? How would they act? 
how would they respond? Okay. And then we have number seven, close your eyes to open your heart. Close your eyes to open your heart. So there's an energy of being superficial. Being superficial. People seeing you for what you can give them. Seeing you for being very caring and loving, but there's an energy of you needing to open your eyes, okay, and close them and allow your heart to do the seeing. Do you see what I'm saying? I feel as though it's been a little backwards. It's been a little backwards. All right. And I feel like people have been taken advantage. And I feel as though because of who these people are, maybe they're, you know, maybe I feel as though you may feel some type of way. There's some type of like pity or sorrow or you feel bad. This could be someone that has children um, it could be a very sad situation and your heart chakra is pulling at you, but there's an energy of you need to close your eyes. Okay. Because I feel like people are taking advantage of you in that way. And there's an energy of you needing to see people for who they are and give out of the kindness of your heart and don't allow people's pity parties to make you feel any type of way. I feel like if you see a person, you automatically feel sorry and you start figuring out what you can do to fix it. Okay. But this is how you get taken advantage of. Okay. On a regular, this is how people serially abuse you in this way. And then we have number 30, trust and act accordingly trust and act accordingly we have a big eye here with the heart inside now if that is not the message here i feel as though you are needing to open your eyes to see what people are the the genuineness in people how people genuinely feel about you do you see what I'm saying? Um, and when you realize that these people don't care, that all they see is what they can get out of you, you're going to close that bank account. You're going to call the bank and be like, put this on d d until further notice. Do you see what I'm saying? You're going to build an electronic fence around that account, which is your heart. You're not going to allow your heartstrings to be pulled on by this person, okay, people, whatever the case may be here, okay, whatever the case may be. Let's see. Let's go ahead and pull some oracle or tarot messages here. Holy Spirit, listen, guys, tell us about cancer, please. Tell us about cancer, please. I don't know what I just did. Tell us about cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell us about cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell us about cancer. Tell us about cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell us about cancer. And we have the Four of Pentacles and the Empress here. 
Four of Pentacles and the Empress, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Taurus, Cancerian energy, strong Taurus energy. Um, so, like I said, <laughs> with that Four of Pentacles, there's an energy of someone who is being very guarded. They're holding something back or they're holding something very close, okay? And with the Empress here, this is talking about your abundance. So there's an energy of needing to, you know, keep your abundance very close to you because you have people that are taking from you. You have people that are focusing on you for what you have. You see what I'm saying? Um, and with your 111 year old self, I feel like you knew this, that four of pentacles is someone who's being guarded. That's someone who's protecting their assets under the deck, King of cups. See, you were already at a distance. Okay. You were already side eyeing these people, seven of cups here. I feel like there are multiple people here with that King of cups. I feel like you began to pull back your energy Okay, because there was an uh, something that was telling you that, you know, something isn't right here. Someone is taking advantage. People are taking advantage here. All right. Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. So we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse and the Page of Swords. Like I said, you blocked these people. Or there's an energy of, you know, there was a separation. You pulled back your energy with the Page of Swords. Like, you know, this caused people... People were starting to ask questions or there's an energy of you were starting to ask questions. You were starting to pull back your energy at this point, closing your eyes to open your heart. You were starting to see people for who they really were. Okay. You were starting to see them for who they really were. Five of cups under the deck and you were extremely disappointed by what you saw. You were extremely let down by this, okay? And I feel like this really hurt you. I feel like your heart had been open because you love helping people. That is in your nature, Cancer. It is in your nature to reach out and want to help someone and pull them up and help that person help themselves and see them go on about their way and be successful, and be great. That gives you great joy. Do you see what I'm saying? Who would it not? Who would it not? Okay. But now at this point, with charge it to my account in the reverse. Okay. Trust and then act accordingly. See, this is something that I learned in business. Okay. Um, because I had a boss. Always tell me, you know, I'd be like, boss, well, what do you think? And they'd be like, well, you know what? It's always good to trust them. And, you know, that's always polite. But then you're going to get off that phone and you're going to go and you're going to confirm it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're going to trust and you're going to verify. And if you verify that what they've said is, is, is is word is is all good then you can move forward right but if you see that what this person okay that's why there's like a dash there because you're not just going to trust and just kind of go on with life there's something you're going to you know want to see and you're going to want to confirm once you verify that this person is not what you thought that they were or what they represented themselves to be, then you're going to act on that in that way. 
okay? And to me, with charging to my account in the reverse, you are cutting this person off. There is a financial cutoff. There is a cutoff of access. There is a cutoff of this person being able to reach out to you. There is a cutoff of you giving this person handouts, okay? Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. Sunlight rising and being signs. Tell me about cancer. And we have the hangman <laughs> and the five of wands. Exactly what the I said. You are no longer, you are no longer being a part of this. Okay. You and and when once you do walk away and you leave this person hanging, they're gonna be angry. They are going to be angry. There is going to be some sort of an argument or this person is going to bitch a fit, okay? They are going to bitch a fit under the deck, Knight of Wands. This is exactly what I'm telling you. This talks about someone who's extremely upset, hot-tempered, okay? How dare cancer cut me off? How dare cancer tell me no? Do you see what I'm saying? And that's when you're going to realize cancer. <laughs> What's the beauty of all of this is that out of you cutting these people off, that's when you're going to realize exactly how hateful they are. Okay. You're going to realize exactly how hateful and how miserable they truly are here. All right. And I feel as though this person is going to do something to act out because King of Cups, Five of Cups, Knight of Wands, you're separating from this person. This person is but hurt because you walked away from them. They are but hurt because you took a, you know, a, an about face and you moved in a different direction with with your time, energy, and your pocketbook and your bank account. Do you see what I'm saying? And with that Knight of Wands, now this person is going to act out in some way, okay? They're going to act out. They're going to stand up and do something in, um, you know, out of, you know, just to, to really, I guess, what's the word? They're just going to bitch, okay? I feel like this person is just really going to bitch about it here. Ace of Swords. This is a conversation. This is someone who is coming to let you know how they feel or someone who's telling you or, you know, opening up to you in a, in a very angry, frustrated manner, okay? So I feel like that's pretty much all this person can do is just like say things. You see what I'm saying? Because they want something from you. You don't have to give them what they want. When you don't, you're going to see this, this person's true colors. And we're going to come back in the extended. We're going to clarify this. And then we'll go ahead and look at your person's energy to see what the hell they are thinking about right now. Okay, Cancer. So we'll be back with that in the extended. The link will be below. Please check back if it is not there immediately when this message airs. And I will see you guys a little bit later. And you're going to head over to She Reads Tarot. And we're going to do the giveaway there. And you're going to make sure that you are entered. I love you guys so much. Take care. And I will see you next time. Bye.